Hi, this is PD from Analytics India magazine and in today's video we will be talking about how OpenAI's GPT-3 can be alarming for the society. The launch of OpenAI's advanced AI language model, the third generation generative pre-training transformer GPT-3 has been the main highlight of the industry. The model has not only been the largest of all, being trained on 175 billion parameters, but also showcased the impressive capability to outrank state-of-the-art models for text prediction and translation. Having said that, such advancements in the language model can profoundly impact the future where every available written text will be generated by computers. And what's worse, these high-quality texts generated by the model are majorly undetectable by the readers. Thus, it became controversial where authors of the GPT-3 paper warned the users about its malicious use in spam, phasing and fraudulent behaviours like deepfakes. GPT-3 can pose threats to disinformation. Apart from consuming a massive amount of energy and impacting the environment, GPT-3 also comes with other challenges. While GPT-3 is scraping down the whole internet archive to generate text, it can heavily pose a threat to disinformation, where it can be used by bad actors to create an endless amount of fake news, spread misinformation amid COVID and carry out phishing scams. This could be easily attributed to the high-quality text generation capability that GPT-3 encompasses, making the text convincingly human-like. Fake news is indeed a big concern for the industry and with the current pandemic outbreak, this human-like text-generating AI can bring potential risk to spreading wrong information and panic. In fact, OpenAI's last year's release of second-generation GPT, which was trained on 8 million internet pages, had already cited fears of its potential misuse. The concerns were such that the company declined initially to release the model to the public. Now, the newer release, which is 100 times more powerful than the last model, has more prospects of being used for nefarious purposes. Case in point, in a recent tweet, an ML enthusiast, Mario Klingman, shared the long-form article The Importance of Being on Twitter, written by GPT-3. Mario Klingman says that all he seeded was the title, the author's name and the first it. The rest was done by GPT-3. Why don't we go ahead and read a few lines written by GPT-3. It is a curious fact that the last remaining form of social life in which the people of London are still interested is Twitter. I was struck with this curious fact when I went on one of my periodical holidays to the seaside and found the whole place twittering like a starling cage. I called it an anomaly and it is. This article was written by GPT-3 in the voice and perspective of a 19th century Englishman. Whether it sounds human-like or not is up to you. In another news, Manuel Araz, the founder and advisor of Open Zeppelin, has also written an entire article from scratch using GPT-3 on a so-called experiment using a basic prompt as a guideline. According to Manuel, the model was fed with a short summary along with the title and some tags to generate an almost perfect text. Such examples would indeed showcase how GPT-3 has astounding capabilities to perform assigned tasks, making it a state-of-the-art language model. However, such a magnitude of capabilities also made it a preferred tool for evildoers to spread wrongful information. Hence, it could urge readers to be on edge while reading news articles in the future. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.